I know you can't feel this, but I can. This street is over 600 years old. And, it, and I mean, just look around you and history is just totally amazing. Now, the reason that we get to see this and actually step where our ancestors have stepped because there was a war and it was over salt. <laughs> There's been lots of wars, you know, but this one was over salt. And the Pope actually created a fortress on top of what was these incredible towers owned by the aristocracy. Now, in Italy, if you were wealthy and what you did in the 16th century is that you built a tower. It's like boats. Doesn't matter how big yours is, someone's got a bigger one. <laughs> and this basically has been preserved because what they didn't do is that they didn't flatten everything. They just built on top. Thank you. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my Italian One Take Property Tours. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to you all wherever you are in the world. I am today in Perugia, which is the capital of Umbria, and we are going to tour a most amazing 21st century interior designed apartment, which is utterly gorgeous and it's got beautiful features and it has part of the original tower from that period. Are you ready? Let's go. So here I am walking into this most incredible interior designed apartment. And if I, as I, I should say, open the door, you will get just the most beautiful view of the corridor. I mean, it's just, Gorgeous, and the first thing which I'm looking at is Paisley Parquet flooring um, done in a beautiful style. Now, this property is a 172 square meters, and although it's raining outside, I've taken all, <laughs> I've taken my jumper off because Basically, it is lovely and warm, and it has an integrated air conditioning system as well, and it has insulation in all the walls. Now, as we walk down this stunning hallway, the first room that you're presented to is, for all you closet lovers, this is phenomenal closet. I mean, this apartment has storage everywhere. And look at the size of that. You see the architectural detail at the back as well? Oh, it's just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Now, as we come back round and we walk down, we have the kitchen on the right hand side. Now, <laughs> you know, I mean, this, what we're talking about today is luxury. Absolute luxury. Posh. We have a capital P. <laughs> Anybody who knows that movie, comments below. Now, look at this. Really is beautiful. Now, this wall on the left hand side is the original because I'm in Perugia and this city uh, used to be, they used to have towers everywhere. And this is the local stone, which is kind of orangey, pinky, whitey, just, it's, it's, it's just yummy. And that is the outside of a medieval tower. I think it's phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. It's just history. And look at the way the craftsmen have just finished the works with the parquet flooring. Quality. Absolute quality. Now let me pull back up here and we'll come round and then you've got a fully fitted kitchen with a very nice double fridge freezer and a beautiful 
window at the end overlooking a small pedestrian street. This house is absolutely, you know, <clears throat> you can hear a pin drop. It's just, it just it really is quiet. And that window is facing east. So you're going to get just beautiful morning light coming through. As I mentioned, the property has basically built in uh, cl closets, uh, closets and cupboards and everything you want. I pull back out of there. Now the house has three bathrooms and two bedrooms. And if I come around, I'm just gonna open the door on the left-hand side and you will see the first of the bathrooms. And this is, it's not really a bathroom, it's a, it, it's a powder room, it's a cloak room. Um, and you've got a toilet and sink and it's, you know, all been done in black and I really like that. And then again, your storage areas. And if I come forward and I just push that door open, I mean, look. Squeak. You've got everything you need as your laundry area. Great. Absolutely great. Now, this house has been uh, designed and built by a local architect um, with the, uh, in collaboration with the owners and it's one of the nicest apartments which I've seen in a very, very long time. So that's your cloakroom, guest WC and kitchen area. <laughs> yeah. I hope you're enjoying this. Now if I pull back and I slowly come round and this is your dining room. Right, I'm relatively speechless, which is <laughs> totally unlike me. Now, let me pull up. Now, this room is a listed building and when they had somebody coming come over from the Heritage Society, um, they came up with an incredibly good idea. Now, the side walls were just unfortunately too far gone to preserve and so they decided to actually instead of plastering them which you couldn't really do but they've put up a stud wall to protect them and so you've got those beautiful lights strip lights which are in the wall lighting up your original I would say probably late 17th century early 18th century original frescoes. What a room. This is certainly a apartment that one would see in the world of interiors or um, AD. It's just utterly stylish, I just love it. Now, I also love Fornazetti, um, and uh, I hope you do too. And I can see two Fornazetti lamps or lampshades. Now, a little bit overexposed, but I can see two beautiful covered chairs in Fornazetti fabric. And I'm just going to pull forward and show you those. Yeah, it's a picture in itself. So quiet. It really is. And the central heating system and air conditioning system have all been uh, built into ducts. Um, I don't know if I said that right. Um, <laughs> and also an integrated um, music system as well. And you just can't hear it. 
You really can't. Now I am going to slowly walk down into the master bedroom. This apartment is on the first floor. There is an elevator, but it's only a short walk up. Now look at those for closets. The whole wall. Yeah, it's a beautiful master bedroom. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. Now it's an overcast rainy day today and so um, I can't really show you the view. But I am going to pull back and show you the bedroom and then we're going to pop into the ensuite. You feel so relaxed. It really is just incredible. Also, when you think I am literally right in the middle of Perugia, Piazza Italia and Corso Venucci is literally across the road. Look at this bathroom. Cut travertine. Beautiful bath. What a lovely space. Lovely colour on the wall. Matching hand well, towel well. Oh, it's just stunningly maintained. Everything about it is incredible. Now we are going to uh, pop up into the second bedroom, but before we do, I'm just going to come across because I think it's important and just show you the view outside. Now you would get a very far reaching view over the Umbrian countryside, but I do want to show you the thickness of that double glazing. That's incredible. That's 35. Yeah, it looks like 35 mil to me. Amazing. TV in this room. Again, as I said, integrated speakers. So that's the master bedroom suite. It's so nice to have uh, so much storage. This is a beautiful room. Now, a lot of you have asked me um, why the owner wishes to sell and why would anybody wish to sell this beautiful house? And uh, well, when the owners, who are absolutely delightful people, bought this house, they were a young couple. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how the world changes, isn't it? And now they have two small children. Again, lovely space. 
And if you didn't want, you, if you wanted the ultimate, you know, abode, if I can say that, um, in Perugia, in the centre of Umbria, and you wanted to have this as your study, I can't think of a better place to have it. I can see a window and a thermostat. And then here you've got another bathroom with a, a shower, bidet, toilet, and a Vernon Panton chair. Right then. Honestly, probably the best apartment I've seen in a very long time. Architectural design, attention to detail, the owners, just the, the, their, their furniture, their style, um, Fornazetti, I think were frescoes, medieval tower. I mean, really, what can I say? You know, the tread, everything about it is, is gorgeous, including the silence. It's just, you just, the moment you come in and you close the front door, I mean, you just get a feel of just tranquility and love. 172 square meters. Um, late 17th century, early 18th century frescoes. You know, if I was, I woke up in the morning here and I walked into the kitchen, I would probably, while I was making my coffee, I'd be rubbing that medieval wall. I really would. <laughs> I just, uh, it, it just it's, it's just history everywhere. It, you know, it is, I mean, I'm saying this again, it's one of the nicest apartments which I've seen in a very, very long time. Comments below. And the price, the price of this property is 750,000 euros. And personally, if I had the money, I had grown up children, I wanted to explore Italy, and I wanted my little bit of sanctuary, this could be it. Thank you. Almost there to the big 100,000. If you haven't subscribed, push those buttons. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.